Good morning, Grade Twelves. It is Monday. We're going to do page seventy-five of your textbook, two point four point two. This is a written activity. So we're given a constructor, create. Okay, there it is. It's got parameters in name. It's a string, funds, a double. Just that's a real number, a real dollar type. Donations, integer and a code which is a string. Now for A to G decide whether or not <coughs> this object, NGO is the object, it belongs to the class TNGO, <coughs> decide whether these are all valid statements here. Well the first one it looks fine, all those parameters are correct, that's a string, that's a real, that's an integer and that's a string, because it was string, real, integer, string, but you can't create it just with that statement. No, you have to say ngo equals tngo dot create. So A is wrong. <coughs> Second one, well, we have string and then we have another string. And that's not the order that the constructor create parameters are in. So first of all, we can't have two strings coming up there. So that's the wrong order. So that won't work. Number C, okay, that's correct, but yeah, we have a string, then we have a real, then we have an integer, then we have a string. Now that looks 100% correct, so C is right. D, we have um, TNGO equals NGO, that's wrong for starters. You can't have the type, which is the class, equal to the object dot create. It's supposed to be the object equals the class name dot create so that's the wrong way around there but the rest is correct string real integer string but it's incorrect because of that of these two this statement there right next one so ngo equals ngo create that's correct and then we have string real integer but there's one parameter missing for this code so that is incorrect next one immediately is incorrect because you can't just say that, tngo.create, no. This one is also incorrect because we have the object.create. This is the class.create, but there's no, that's missing. But the parameters are fine, but it's incorrect because of that. The next one, we have the object equals the class, that's right, dot .create, good. Then helping hand, real, Ah, but this is a real number. Even though it says 50.00, the process is not going to be happy with it. So, if you put in a full stop, you're going to assume that you're sending a real number there. So that won't be right. And that's the only reason. Everything else is correct on that G. Right, then we go to 2.4.7. Which of the following is the correct syntax for the header of a get method? Now remember, a get method is a function. Mm. Well, first of all, A is a, a procedure. A procedure is a set method, not a get method. Everything else is correct, but that you know, it's not a get method. Yeah, we have function. Okay, method name, parameter, colon, data type. So that is correct because we have the parameter and then the data type. So that's correct. The procedure, nope. It's not a get method, a procedure. This word here should be function method, colon, data type. Because the last one, D, function, the method name and the data type, that is correct because that is a function, which is a get method. Right, so just to, we can go here to this program quickly. Open the project saved in O2 car price list folder, and let's go and do that. So you go file, open, you go to your data files. Now immediately you have to make sure that you're in the right folder for your data files. And the car price list folder. Okay, I opened the project file. And now I want to actually open the class unit file. File, open, 
where's my class unit there it is okay no there is no class list there isn't class there isn't a class unit here so we've only got the the program okay so import car class unit in the form car unit where's our car class unit we don't have a car class unit so we're going to go and get it from our memo folders and I will make sure that you have the car class unit in your program folder <coughs> and uh, in the actual data files for grade 12 there is no uh, unit there for the car class we actually would have written it you know in another place so therefore uh, because we haven't written it yet so I'm going to go and import it from the uh, answer files quickly and you will find it when you do this activity you'll find it carclass.pas right now I'm just going to quickly save this into my folder you see you have to have the class for your car in the same folder as your main program if you don't then that's going to be a big problem just remember that okay so I'm going to save this quickly so when you get your car class always make sure your units are saved inside your um, folder that your main program is in otherwise you won't be able to use it now they're saying in the instruction declare global variables car of type t car and an integer variable row initialized to one in your implementation section and yeah of your main program fine here's my main program i'm just going to go over here and type car colon t car now if i look at my car class there it is says t car okay t car has got brand model year and retail price okay using double is the same as real it's got two constructor creates but don't worry about that and we'll you use the one with the parameters brand model and year and it has a function get detail set retail price get very similar to what we did before just functions and procedures written there already and they've been implemented in the main program Okay, we're going to use that car class and we've declared an object car of the type T car from this car class. So let's read the instruction. They said we must have um, an integer I row and make that equal to one to start off with. So fine, I'll do it. And in my on activate event, I will set R row equal to one. So we're using the string grid as well, just like before. So there it is. And then the next thing is to in the save button click event. We're going to store the inputs brand model year and retail price and then use the create so we're going to do what we did before so in the save button we're going to read off the brand model year and the price so let's go and make that var s brand s model uh, colon oops i didn't even spell that properly brand comma make those strings and then we will use the an integer for the year integer and then we will use uh, nothing about uh, the retail price the real our price colon real okay um, I'm going to change these up, car brand, car model, 
I'll just put car in front of each one of those. I'll show you now why I'm doing that. So we get our inputs. I've got a little comment here for, okay, fine. SCAR brand equals EDT uh, CBX brand dot text. Quick way to get it from a comment box is a dot text property. And SCAR model equals edt model dot text then we have i car here which will be the spin edit <coughs> uh, here and here dot value remember it's different to an edit box and our car price will be equal to string to float EDT price dot text. Now we're going to create our object. Get our inputs. Now we create the object. The object. Sorry, the one object. Where is it? Yeah, car. There's the object. Car it belongs to the to the type T car. So we say car equals T car dot create. Ah, it doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Well, because in our users section. We didn't put in that word car class. In the user section of the main program, you have to slot in the word, the, the car class unit there, car class. Now we'll be able to access all the methods. Just like that magic. All right, moving on. Let's move it on, move it on. Right, so now we can do in our create object car, colon equals t car dot there we go but we don't want that create you want the create with the parameters see now they don't let us have the create with the, without the param they only got the create with parameters without parameters which i don't want to use you know what i mean so guess what i'm going to do i'm going to delete this structure create with overload and you can do that too because seriously we do not need it or want it so let's go and do this again. Car equals T car dot. Ah, got to do file save all. Let's run and make sure this is working. <coughs> right, okay, so there are errors. So we just have to make sure that we, oh yeah, because I haven't finished there. All right, file save all. So this is implemented, this is fine. T car dot create should work without, with the parameters now. It doesn't I'll use my hat. Don't have one on there. There we go. Yeah, there it is now. There's our list of parameters in our dot create constructor. And then we go and put in all the things that are supposed to be here. And the reason why I use different names there to demonstrate to you that we have to use the names inside here, not the names that we see in this in the tooltips. So S car brand, comma. And see how they all the tooltips are moving on to the next one s car model comma yeah and that will be our oh it's got to be a string can you see that it's supposed to be a string so i'm going to say int to string our car here and then we have to have our car price now That was a bit of a, a letdown, hey? I forgot to check my data types. The year is a string. Hmm. All right. So actually, I'm going to convert this rather than do it this way. S car year colon string. Change that data type and say S car year equals end to string the year dot value. And now we just go and slot in s car year over year all right our car price so that's that you can run the program and see if it works and it's still running and the syntax is all correct no spelling mistakes right now call the object methods and display in the string grid all right what do they want us to do get detailed model and get vat price to display the model details and the retail price in the string grid 
So I don't I I don't know what these are here. Um, get retail price, get detailed model, get retail price. But um, the set retail price we we're not we're not going to use it, are we? No. Yeah. So, but but they want us to only use get detailed model and get VAT price. Get detailed model and get VAT price. So get detail model which is a, a function and get vat price is a string function they're both functions they're both strings and we're going to display them straight into oh wait get vat price is not a string it's a double so we have to convert that so we're going to display them in our string grid which will be called sgd sgr cars sgr cars dot cells square brackets the column for our uh, I can't remember which is the column for the the price and the whatever so let's say it's column naught for the model column naught row r row which will be one why do I know it's one well because I set it to one over here didn't I right there and that will be the we want to get the the um, model get detailed model so we say car dot get detailed model there we go and then the next one remember that the string grid has got can only hold strings and the next thing we want to do is go and get the VAT, the VAT price, get VAT price, there it is. But get VAT price is a real number, so we have to say float to string. And we can might as well just go and convert it to a real data type, I mean to currency, not to real data type, we're converting it to a currency format, so that it'll be displayed as a string so just remember that you had to type car and dot to get the functions get that price and get detailed model and that is that so obviously you're going to go and do this by yourself there it is get price plus that so obviously that get that price function had the that calculated right there. I'm in the car class unit here now. Okay, so go and do that by yourself for the rest of the lesson.